Welcome to our tutorial on modules. We're going to continue where we left off in our previous lesson. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the call statement to call procedures that are located in different modules. First, let's insert a module into our project by selecting Insert Module. A module is basically a form which doesn't have a form. It just stores code. Okay, first let's run our application to see how it works. Test. So far it seems to work just like the program in our previous tutorial. Now let's take a look at the code to see how it's executed. On the click event, call statement A calls procedure A. That's located in module 1. As you see, this procedure is a public procedure. As well, integer A, instead of being private, is public as well. That means that integer A and procedure A can be seen from anywhere in this project. Procedure A only has one line of code, where value is retrieved from the text property value of the text box control A. That's located in Form 1, or this form here. It is stored in integer A. After the procedure ends, control transfers back to the click event. The second call statement transfers control to procedure B, which is also a public procedure. After procedure B ends, control transfers back to the click event. The next call statement transfers control back to procedure C, which places value stored in integer A into the caption property of the label control LBL result. That's also located in form 1. Now I'm going to execute this program line by line. I'll insert what's called a breakpoint here. This stops the program at this point. A breakpoint lets me check the code line by line. I'm going to enter 1 and test. The program stops right here. When I mouse over, I see that integer A equals 1. Let's press F8. Control is now transferred to subroutine A. Integer A is still 0. Let's press F8 again, and again. We see that the value stored in integer A has changed. Let's press F8 again. Control is transferred back to the click event. F8 again. Basically, this lets us check what's happening with the program at every step. And this concludes our tutorial on modules.